Hello students, um, welcome to this course on mathematical methods in chemical engineering. My name is uh, V. Shankar. I'm going to be the instructor for this course. Um, this course is numbered CHE641A uh, as per our uh, institute uh, uh, scheme of things and uh, the email alias for this course is um, let me just do it carefully CHE641A at the rate of iitk.ac.in and this is the email address that I will use to send out homework assignments and other announcements as we go along okay now this is the one that I will use now there is another email that we have set up uh, just so that you can send your assignments uh, that will be che641a dot iitk at gmail dot com now this is the one that you are going to use to send out completed assignments okay okay so now um, in addition uh, it's also useful to uh, know my email address which is simply uh, vshankar at iitk.ac. In. and uh, there are also TAs for this course there are three TAs whose emails are given in the first co course handout that I just uh, mailed you uh, a few days back so I all, uh, I request all of you to uh, please go through this uh, first course handout very carefully okay this has uh, several details regarding how this course is going to be conducted uh, including the contact details of the TAs and uh, the grading policy and so on okay so I request you to go through this uh, course handout very 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 carefully and if you have any questions you can always uh, contact me by email okay now as um, uh, a way of uh, conducting this course we are going to use the MOOCIT uh, platform of IIT Kanpur to upload the, the videos and, uh, and other assignments okay, and any other announcements okay so all these will be uploaded in the MOOCIT platform uh, but it will also s uh, usually it sends an email as well to you okay so you will get a when I put an announcement in this platform normally it sends you an email but uh, do keep um, in touch with uh, this platform as we go along okay so now um, there is going to be one discussion hour uh, which is uh, scheduled on Mondays uh, 12 to 1 p.m. for this course which we will use um, Monday which we'll use using uh, Google Meet. Okay, we'll use Google Meet to carry out our uh, discussion hours, wherein you can join us to clarify any questions that you have, uh, you may have on this, uh, the, on the topics covered in this course. Okay, now um, before I go on to the details of uh, this course, uh, let me first tell you a little bit about what this course is about. So we may as well ask why math in chemical engineering? Why do you have to study? Okay, is it essential at all? Now uh, to answer this question, I would like to say that modern chemical engineering analysis and design involves mathematical description of physical processes that underlie various chemical engineering unit operations. You take any unit operation, and if you want to design, let's say a heat exchanger or a distillation column okay 
or a distillation column or a chemical reactor or whatever you may have all the uh, design of various unit operations and reaction systems will involve mathematical equations of some sort so these equations can be of various types these, these equations can be of algebraic type these equations can be of uh, in the form of differential equations for example ordinary differential equations or partial differential equations in short ODEs and PDEs respectively so any design process any design uh, uh, aspect in chemical engineering involves mathematical solution of mathematical equations in a very very important and significant way so we cannot wish away math from chemical engineering right we have to uh, understand the basics of mathematics in order for in order to be able to uh, solve and design chemical engineering operations in a more rational and uh, accurate manner okay that is the motivation so the objective of this course therefore the objective of this course is to introduce you to the relevant uh, mathematical toolkit that is often used in chemical engineering uh, analysis okay so uh, when I say mathematical methods so let me just say math toolkit there are two types of mathematical uh, methods in general uh, one is called analytical techniques or analytical methods the other approach is called numerical techniques or numerical methods okay this course of course is going to focus on analytical techniques there is a separate course in our department which is CHE 642 a which deal with numerical techniques now having said this it is uh, important to understand the principles of analytical methods even to do numerical solution of uh, various equations because the underlying principles of numerical techniques are based on analytical mathematical principles okay so just to give you an example as to what is meant by analytical and numerical methods suppose if I were to give you an equation 2x plus 3 is equal to 7 then you will immediately say 2x is equal to 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 or x is equal to 2 this is an example of an analytical solution okay this is an example of an analytical solution on the other hand if I were to if I give you another example if I ask you to solve x to the 8 minus 3 x to the 4 plus 5 is 0 then you may not be able to get an analytical solution like we did for this linear equation so such equations have to be solved necessarily using numerical methods okay or you have to solve them numerically so you need to know both analytical and numerical methods uh, in order to be able to successfully solve uh, various problems in chemical engineering having said that as I just uh, mentioned the basis of numerical methods still lie in analytical methods so you cannot wish away analytical uh, mathematical understanding because otherwise you won't know whether the numerical method that you are using is robust or whether it has some issues so these kind of things you may not be able to judge unless you know the basics basis of analytical methods so it's very very important to uh, understand analytical methods in chemical engineering and that is the uh, objective of this course okay so this is numerical methods will not be taught in this course you will have to go to a different uh, course for that okay now uh, with this let me uh, tell you what are the topics that we are going to cover in this course okay topics to be covered now in different subjects of chemical engineering different uh, sub branches of chemical engineering you will encounter different types of mathematical tools uh, that are required to solve or address the concepts and problems okay so 
one of the most important fundamental ideas in chemical engineering is uh, multivariable cal calculus or partial differentials now partial differentials are encountered in thermodynamics in uh, transport in fluid mechanics and so on and if you are interested in multivariable optimization you will have to understand the basis of uh, partial differential so the first uh, module that we are going to cover is partial differentials or multivariable calculus this will be done rather quickly because some of you may be familiar with the basics but still it is important to understand this very well the next topic we are going to discuss is complex variables and analysis now this is encountered in uh, process control and even to some extent in transport phenomena so it's very important to understand uh, the basic ideas in complex variables and analysis because some of them are very useful in the solution of differential equations as we'll see later the heart of the course is what i would call linear algebra or more appropriately linear vector spaces now linear algebra is something that you are already familiar with in some sense because the idea of matrices and solution of a uh, system of linear equation system of linear equation are uh, topics that are usually covered in linear algebra okay but linear algebra is not just matrices linear algebra is not just system of linear equations if you think of linear algebra as linear vector spaces you will soon find that it is a much more general subject and it has wider implication and applicability this is what we are going to show um you you will find that even uh, functions differential equations can all be covered within the same uh, structure of linear algebra or linear vector spaces so this is going to be a very very important part of the course i am going to spend considerable time on naturally this will lead to the solution of ordinary differential equations or odes in short so there are different techniques that one uses to solve ordinary differential equation and uh, here i'm going to uh, discuss the notion of a fourier series or function expansions um here we will discuss a class of uh, uh, problems called sturm liouville problems or eigen value problems in differential equations okay and how they are used in solving odes finally we are going to solve uh, discuss sorry partial differential equations uh, which are frequently encountered in transport phenomena thermodynamics cre and so on okay so solution of pdes will also form a very important part of this course now <coughs> having said uh, having listed the topics that we are going to cover uh, what is a textbook that i am going to follow this is something that uh, you may be the textbook that i am going to recommend is the one by riley hobson and bens uh it's titled mathematical methods for in physics and engineering or something like that okay please uh, check it out in uh, the first course handbook as well as in the internet um now this is the textbook uh, this textbook is a wonderfully written book uh, it has a whole lot of topics covered from basics um while all the topics that i am going to cover are present or discussed in this textbook uh i am not going to cover necessarily only from this textbook or uh from the perspective of this textbook i am going to um uh, present material that i have sourced from very various other textbooks as well as well as from my own experience right all right so now um uh, therefore uh it's uh, important to also list out some reference books which will improve your perspective uh the one by mary l boes is very nice it's uh, at the same level uh, uh, as riley and hobson and it also covers a whole lot of techniques that are used in ma in chemical engineering now um 
there is another book by uh, R. Shankar, which is also nice. There is this book by Michael Greenberg. It's called Advanced Engineering Mathematics. That's also pretty good. Now, these are the books that are generally used for uh, general purpose uh, general purpose mathematics okay uh, whereas okay whereas if you specifically talk about mathematical methods in chemical engineering there are two books one is by Arvind Verma and Morbidelli and the second one is by S. Pushpavanam These book cover these books cover uh, the same type of tech mathematical methods, but mostly from the context of chemical engineering applications. So you'll have more chemical engineering flavor in these books, but uh, the concepts and the basics are general. They are regardless of uh, whether uh, you study a chemical engineering problem or uh, or a physics problem. Okay. Now uh, this is uh, as much as uh, I would like to. Uh, tell you in terms of uh, motivating what this course is about and this course policies and so on. So the first module that I'm going to uh, start next is on multivariable calculus or partial differentials. Uh, I'll stop this module here. Until then, goodbye.